let's not beat around the bush. I know why you're here, you know why I'm here, and we all know why we're here. For news, Matt in the building, and we have a very important game and topic to talk about. Going off of the title of this video, you probably know what we're about to get into, but first, I gotta state this. Whether it's Bronny James or any player that you want to see a video on, you guys love tagging me in the post on Instagram, and I love that you guys do that because it lets me know you want to see a video. Today was a little different though, and let me explain. So, right after Bronny's game wrapped up, I immediately got a ton of tags and mentions in the post about his game. And once again, I really appreciate that, so if you want to tag me in any news, feel free to because it helps out the channel. But then it was getting to the point where I was getting mentioned in DM of people going, oh Matt, where are you at? Bronny finally has a great game and you're being quiet and you're not going to make a video, you mad fake. There were some people saying stuff like that, not exactly, but that's how it went and you know how it goes. And I'm sure the people that were saying that are watching this video right now, but here's what you need to keep in mind. They were saying that stuff only 30 minutes after the game. I don't know what you think goes behind the scenes of making these YouTube videos like I can just snap my fingers and we can upload them, but it doesn't work that way and it's almost impossible to get a video up in an hour after a game. But hold on, it gets even better. So roughly an hour to an hour and a half goes by, more people are tagging me, and then some people are saying, oh, well Matt's just a hater because when he plays good, he doesn't talk about him, and when he plays bad, he's always quick to make a video. Here's my problem with that, especially today. One, that's wrong. I talk about all these players when they do good or bad, and I give credit where it's due. And then to top all that off, I literally, and I know some people ain't gonna believe this, so I'm gonna throw the screenshot up on the screen, but I literally had surgery only a few hours ago. I do my absolute best to get these videos up very quickly after the games, and if there's a circumstance like today, I don't get it up as quickly as normal, there's probably something in my everyday life that's going on. I'm not mad at all, and honestly, I found it pretty funny because I guess everyone thought I wasn't going to talk about it and acknowledge it, but I am. You just got to give me some time. But now finally, I have some time and we can talk and discuss about what happened. Bronny James and his team, Strive for Greatness, went up against another very solid team that goes by the Knight Riders. Knight Riders is spelled with a Y, not like Riders, so that's why I said it that way. I'd almost even go as too far as you're saying, he played so good today that it was shocking because nobody's really expected this because in his past 15 to 14 games, he's done much of nothing. It's gotten to the point now where people were getting used to him not performing that well and only scoring 6 to 8 points per game and getting a couple assists and a couple of rebounds. I actually saw this somewhere today and only legit and real people are going to understand this but being able to score the ball and be a pure scorer is the best attribute or an ability that a hooper can have. That's why in the modern day of basketball, when we talk about great players, you always say, oh, well, how much does he score or how much does he average? Assists, rebounding, and defense do matter, but you can get that almost out of every single hooper. Not every hooper is going to be able to score. Especially when you're talking about the college and NBA level, being able to score and make tough shots is one of the greatest things a player can do. We really need to take into account too that in the year of 2021, hoopers are at an all-time level of greatness. Every single year, they get better. If you really think about it, only 10 years ago, it was rare for a 14-year-old or 15-year-old to be dunking, but now it's normal. You can say it's due to the fact of the human body or trainers are getting better or just basketball players are getting better in general, but you can't deny the fact that every single year, the hoopers get better. It's nothing really to applaud or clap about because as humans, that's what we strive for in everything in life. I'm not here to give you a history lesson, but if you go back to 10 to 20 years or look at different generations, you can tell that the human species and people on earth are making a huge difference. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I know exactly what you're sitting there thinking. Yo, Matt, what the heck are you talking about and what does that have to do with anything? The main reason I said what I said is so I can emphasize that scoring, it's king. Whether you disagree, well, if you disagree, you're just playing out dumb. There's a reason when you went to high school and if you go to high school after one of your games, the girls and everyone in your class ask the same question. Yo, 
how many points did you score? It's not just what fans care about, but a lot of coaches value it more than what you think. And in today's game, Bronny was showing off his insane, yes that's right, I said insane scoring ability. To say he went off is an understatement. He was unstoppable. It's not the fact that he scored 20 points, but it was the way he did it. And let me explain this and put it more into perspective so you might can understand and grasp the concept. We'll just talk about LeBron because that's his dad and it goes hand in hand. So in high school, well, even in the NBA, LeBron can rack up 20 points just by driving to the goal and being a unstoppable force. And I'm not discrediting LeBron or anybody that's huge that can take advantage of small defenders because it's being smart, but at the same time, it's not very skillful. Actually, a better example came to my mind. Look at Giannis Antetokounmpo. Great basketball player, but he's not the most skilled basketball player, if you know what I'm trying to say. He doesn't really have handles, he's got a terrible jump shot, and his only move in his quote-unquote bag is running at the goal 100 miles per hour. I'm not taking nothing away from him, but it's just facts. But on the other hand, for Bronny and many other Hoopers out there, you have to be a little more skillful than running to the goal. Bronny wasn't just getting easy layups and easy mid-range pull-up buckets, but he was getting some skillful buckets and that's what I like to call them. His team did pick up the win 70 to 65 and he finished the game with 20 points, six three-pointers and two assists and I also think he had two steals. I know some of you may be curious he hit six threes how many did he shoot? I've seen some places say he shot 11 and some 12. Either way it's 50%. One thing with Bronny that almost everybody understands by now is that He's a very efficient player. He doesn't take a lot of shots and that's my biggest knock on his game because I wish he would shoot the ball at least a minimum 15 to 20 times. I think he has the talent and the skill to drop 30 points every single game, but he doesn't have the mentality just yet. Maybe that'll come, we'll just have to wait and see. Pump the brakes right there, I know what some of you may be thinking. Well, he might have hit five threes spotting up in the corner, but no, it wasn't like that. He did hit one to two spot up threes, but he hit some coming off of a screen, he hit some coming up in the open court, and then he hit one crazy combo that even, I, I, I dropped my mouth when I saw it, I couldn't believe it. I'm gonna throw the clip up on the screen right now, so he was isolating his defender, hit him with a between the legs, crossover, and pulled up in his face, contested, and it was nothing but net. He had a lot of good plays in this game, and it wasn't just scoring. His passing ability and IQ, it was there too. He even had a play where he was driving base on, could have took the floater, but he dished it off for an easy bucket. I've said this before when talking about Bronny and his game, and I guess some of you think I'm joking, but I'm being very serious. He has arguably the best jump shot I've ever seen for a kid his age. I'm really clueless and I have no idea why nobody else is talking about it, but it's pretty. I mean, you can say that's corny or whatever, but he has a pretty jump shot. I hate making this comparison at all because I don't like comparing high schoolers to NBA players, but when we're talking about just solely jump shots, the way he goes up with the ball and how smooth he is, it reminds me of Devin Booker and Klay Thompson. They're not completely the same, so don't be a nerd in the comment section and go, Meh, well, his arms angled at a 45 degree angle. Shut up! I'm just saying the way how smooth they are, it reminds me of each other and the motions. What's even scarier about Bronny is that if you didn't believe in his jump shot by now, I don't know what's wrong with you, but maybe this will make you believe in it even more. But look at his body frame. The dude's what, 6'3", 6'4", and roughly 190 to 200 pounds? He scored 20 points today and didn't even drive at all, and he was settling for pull-up jumpers. And what I'm focusing on and getting to is that to do what he did today, you gotta be a skilled basketball player. Anybody can drive to the goal, but not everybody can shoot pull-up J's. Maybe for his body and to build longevity, this is the best way and the best play style at the current moment. Because yeah, in high school and maybe college, he could bully some people somewhat and drop to the goal, but if he does get to the NBA, and when talking about Bronny, that's what everybody talks about, he's gonna have to have somewhat of a skill set and a quote-unquote bag. I'm telling you, I've said it, I've said it, I've said it over and over, I will continue to say it. He has the talent and the skill set to get to the NBA. 
the only thing, and I mean the only thing, that will hold him back is his mentality. We all know by now that Bronny, that's just how he is. He'll drop 20 like he did today, and maybe tomorrow he'll drop two points. That's how he does. But we're not going to focus on what he might do tomorrow. We're just here to give him his flowers and show him his respect because clap it up, man. He played a great game. There's nothing else to say. Oh yeah, too, how could I forget? He did this at the EYBL, and 20 points in the EYBL is like, what, 35 in regular high school? He's gonna be straight. I'm very happy that he played good today because he's been getting a lot of backlash and stuff from a lot of people that's unwarranted and he doesn't need. I pretty much covered everything I wanted to talk about on this video, or at least I think so. Let me know what you think about his performance in the comment section down below. Did he play good? Could he play better? Are you just a hater and you think he played bad? Let me know. But with all that being said, that's going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something. If you know the channel, what are you doing? Hit the red button, man. Join the family and subscribe. And I don't forgot what I was saying. But yeah, man, as always, let's be great. I'm out of y'all. Peace.